high spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, circumstances, romances, places, and situations, I said that already, in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Some of you may recognize that. I haven't done that in the longest time, you guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, today's reading, daily reading. And also, I mean, it's Monday, uh, March 28th, but this is, and yeah, this could kind of be seen as a daily message, but this can resonate for you at any time. Um, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to date this. I'm just going to title it as you guys know already because <laughs> you're watching it. But um, yeah. Just take it as it resonates. This could resonate for you at any moment in your life. Yes? Excellent. Five shuffles. What's going on? What messages do we have for the collective at this time? that's heavy okay um we have two cards so far uh these two cards came out spirit wanted me to stop here for a second um we have the ten of wands and the five of cups the overall energy with this is the two of cups underneath the two of cups is the four of oh the four of cups to the tower to the eight of pentacles oh my goodness um so there's currently a relationship here. This can be a platonic situation. Uh, for some of you, I'm also feeling like this is maybe a work situation. Um, but there is currently a relationship here that I'm hearing holds no value any longer. Um, and what, ha what seems to be happening is, my oh my, what seems to be happening is that um, I think I feel like those who are involved in this relationship or this situationship right now are just keeping up with the motions, um, keeping up appearance, um, just carrying the burdens, you know, going about things the same old way, same old, same old, you know, and actually as time goes on, it does feel like the more you carry this or the more you move forward with this the more and more burdensome it becomes the heavier and heavier the load becomes but that would be like that's kind of like physics right listen i'm not i'm not a physicist okay so like but it, it kind of that's kind of what it feels like you know the more you carry this really heavy burden the more your body is taxed the more you're the more tired you get you know what i mean if you don't stop and drop the load for a second right for at least a few moments so that your body can rest and recuperate and then you can pick it back up but even still um but what i feel like here is whomever is involved with this situation doesn't want to drop this load because if they do they'll never pick it back up again icky uh this is coming to an end though okay overall energy is the two of cups to the four of cups to the tower someone is about to stop working towards this or someone is about to say i don't want to do this anymore someone is about to say i don't is about to pour this cup out now also what i'm feeling here is that um there may be a situation this may be a situation in which someone actually someone is actually not going to take any sort of initiative to change anything but then that's where the tower comes in So either you are going to be creating a tower moment or or the universe is going to do it for you. Okay. 
let's get a little bit more here. And then I am going to, I have another deck I am going to clarify a little bit. All right, but I want to get a little bit more in this storyline first before we move forward, before we clarify. All right. Okay. Next card that came out is the Hanged Man here. So um, I'm hearing this, there, there, this is a burdensome relationship. This is a burdensome situation ship, okay? And somebody is in fact stuck and stagnant. Um, uh, you know, this does feel like it's a good thing or, or the fact that someone isn't really making any sort of wild drastic changes yet it definitely feels like someone is not even trying to change anything they would just rather keep on going with this the same old way as if nothing was wrong even though even though underneath the surface they're really not happy about it really not happy about it okay um but this is where the good thing comes in because you have the hanged man here and the more someone you or this person, the more that they stay in this situationship, the more and more they start to realize how burdensome it is. The, the more and more they start to reach that change in perspective. So uh, this is kind of funny because they may think they're avoiding something by staying in the same, staying same old, same old, not really changing anything, not even really trying to change anything. But the longer they stay in it, the more and more they begin to understand that this is not a good place to be. Overall energy is the five of swords. Okay. So this is where, this is kind of where the tower moment comes in. And this, this is counterintuitive to them. Or they don't, either you or this person don't see it this way. Again, they're trying to avoid some sort of change in this situation, but the more they stay in the same situation, the worse and worse it gets, and the more and more they start to understand it. Now, for some of you here, this person, or either this is you or someone that you're connected with, okay? So take it as it resonates. But for some of you here, you already have seen the light or you've already gained the change in perspective and you recognize the lose-lose situation here, five of swords. And thus, now this is overall energy at the bottom of the deck. Thus, you have someone here that's working on changing the situation, the magician. But it's not easy and it's not something that's going to happen overnight. But I will tell you that somebody definitely feels inspired, definitely feels inspired. Okay, you have the, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and then the Fool to the Knight of Cups. This could have to do with love also. But um, you have somebody that's really inspired here to get out of this situationship and start a new journey, start a new path, maybe with someone else. Yeah. Because look, I'm looking at the bottom of the deck here. You have the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Fool. So someone is definitely inspired to break themselves free from some sort of entanglement, okay? Some sort of uh, situationship that is just lose-lose, some feelings of entrapment. This could have everything to do with love, Knight of Cups. If it's not love, it's just how your heart is desiring you move forward. Okay, you have the Knight of Cups to the Seven of Pentacles to the Seven of Wands to the Ten of Cups and then the Knight of Swords. So in terms of this, what uh, either what this person or what you are starting to figure out here is that you're putting all of this work in, all this effort in, Seven of Pentacles, and not really getting the harvest that you want back. And thus there is a level of defense that's going up here, Seven of Wands, because... Ten of Cups, you want to be happy. Now, conversely, there, is, there are some people here that want to preserve this Ten of Cups. This happy family scene. But is it really a happy family? Knight of Swords, Queen of... Ooh. See, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups to the Chariot. I'm not so sure this is a happy family scene. <laughs> Someone very much may be lying to themselves about what is truly a happy family for them. But that also could be where the hanged man energy is coming into play. Okay. All right. 
Okay, so let's let's stop all the conjecture and let's start clarifying some things. All right. All right. Let's get some clarity here, please, Spirit. I want to start with the Ten of Wands. I want to clarify this Ten of Wands. Um, what we have at the bottom of the deck so far is the Two of Swords. See, the Two of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Four of Cups. Someone seems to be in denial. Even though they don't want to stay in this relationship or situationship any longer, there's still a level of persevering with it. Maybe because it's a comfort zone energy. Interesting. So, yeah, I really want to clarify this Ten of Wands then. What is making this situation so burdensome? Clarify the Ten of Wands, please. Uh-huh. History, the past, Six of Cups. Okay. You have the Six of Cups here now with the Four of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So this might be, okay, so at this point, I feel like whomever this person is, whether this is you or this is someone that you're connected to, most likely romantically connected to, spiritually, like, right? That, all that kind of shit, right? <laughs> okay. Um, someone is really starting to realize the burden that they have around them, and they're starting to think about it. They're definitely starting to think about it. It also could be the advent of some sort of soulmate coming into your or their life that's starting to make them question or actually what i just heard was starting to make them feel the burden here in ways that they've never felt it before mm. can we clarify this a little bit more anything else for the ten of wands anything else for the ten of wands here? okay Okay. Okay. Now we have the High Priestess with the Five of Wands. And then, yes. And then the Hermit is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So this is all part of a big plan. A big old plan that the universe has going on here. When the High Priestess first came out, I heard, uh, trust your intuition, allow, to, allow the universe to do its thing. And then you have the Five of Wands. There, so what I'm getting with this really is what Spirit is saying is that there is a method to this madness. The, the reason for this is because it's starting to, it's getting someone to go within. It's starting to get someone to heal a certain level of inner conflict because overall, wow, overall energy, we have the Hermit and it back to the Five of Swords here and then the Hierophant. Holy shit. This is a big old like I I initiation. Um, this person might be married or in a committed relationship, either you or this person. Um, okay, uh, next, uh, keeping going at the bottom of the deck, you do have the King of Wands to Temperance and then the Three of Wands. And what I'm hearing with this, you guys, is um, allow the universe to run its course. There is definitely a divine plan behind all of this, okay? There is definitely a divine plan behind all of this. Okay, I want to clarify some more. I want to clarify this hanged man, all right? Clarify the hanged man, please. What do you want to say about the hanged man? Oh, oh shit okay so this hanged man energy right this is the the process of enlightenment or this is the the, the the process of someone going through the motions of 
seeing something from a different point of view. And like I said, the more that they stay here, the stronger and stronger this gets, right? So with the hanged man here, this is saying that part of this will not, the, the inner conflict that this person or you are going through is, is them starting to realize what it is they've been holding on to, four of pentacles. And with that, <laughs> with that, you have the king and the queen of swords. Now, here's the thing. The king and the queen of swords, um, I feel like in this situation, the king and the queen of swords represent the individual, like the individual that we're talking about here, and then maybe the person that they're with or their partner or, or just like the person that they're dealing with in this situationship, right? The thing about it is the queen of swords came out and it flew off the table. So it seems that there is some sort of rejection of this situationship between the two. Now, it could represent both sides of the individual here that are going through the situation. The king representing the process of understanding, while the queen would be the action that's taken from the... Uh, the conclusion that the king has come to, but I quite I don't feel like that's the case. I literally feel like the queen of swords is the individual that this person that we're talking about here, either you or your person, I guess, we're talking about the individual that they are currently connected to that they don't want to be with any longer or they're starting to realize they don't want to be connected to any longer because that queen of swords came out and it flew off the table and I didn't even see what she was until I turned her over. So what is this hangman energy? This is the process of letting go. This is the process of the King of Swords letting go of the Queen of Swords. Or start coming to an understanding of why he or she needs to let go of this person or this connection or this situationship. Overall energy is the Knight of Wands. <laughs> is the Knight of Wands to the Four of Cups. Yeah. To the Nine of Wands underneath that. And then the Ace of Wands wanted to show itself. Ooh, Lord, the Ace of Wands wanted to show itself, then the Two of Cups. There is a brand new relationship on the horizon. But there are not going to be any third parties involved in this kind of situation. And that's kind of part of the point, and that's kind of part of the process here. Okay, last thing that I want to clarify is this magician. So what's the magician here, please, spirit? Clarify the magician. We come back full circle. Overall energy is the 10 of wands. We have that with the five of pentacles. There is something about this situation that's leaving either you or your person or this person that we're talking about here, leaving them feeling out in the cold. Maybe even leaving them feeling like they're missing out on something, FOMO. Well, death to Smoochie. changing that no longer feeling left out in the cold no longer feeling overburdened that is right look overall energy is the ten of wands to the seven of wands to the ten of cups to the fool this person is in an energy of either you or this person whomever this is is in an energy of not wanting to feel overburdened any longer and not wanting to not feel love any longer this person is wanting to trade the burdens that they currently have within their relationship, their family circle, their situationship, their, their job, whatever, just their lives in general is what I just heard. They're looking to change this. Trade, trade that for love, happiness, family, commitment, someone that can truly honor them as the person that they are. And they no longer, and, and they're getting to the point where they don't ever want to have to go back to something burdensome like this. So they are in the process of manifesting or taking a leap of faith. 
This is beautiful, you guys. I'm gonna pause because I wanna get some Oracle guidance and I wanna go to the Crystal Mandala deck. This is straight up old school boarded coffee status right now. I fucking love it. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. Closing Oracle guidance. Three shuffles here. One. Two. And three. Alrighty. Closing Oracle guidance, please, Spirit. Card number 30, Ascended Master White Matthew and Danburite, Original Self. Yes, Jinx. She's stuck outside. All right, here we go. We bring you the blessing of Original Self. As you progress through your life, learning and growing, you gain wisdom and strength. You grow more radiant and authentic, true to who you are, and as this happens, many of the layers of identity begin to fall away. What you once believed yourself to be is shown to be not much more than clothing your soul wore for a time. You have outgrown it. It is no longer a good fit. It constrains too much, doesn't reflect your personality, vibrancy, uniqueness, and beauty, so you discard it. Perhaps you are able to be more spiritually naked. The sense of who you are becomes simpler. You are just you. Others may or may not, quote, get you, but nonetheless, you are still just you. You are freeing yourself from the projections of others, of the world, and simply living as your original self. Original, radiant, divine self. Let me say that last one one more time. You are freeing yourself from the projections of others, of the world, and simply living as your original, radiant, divine self. Excellent, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you, yeah? I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm gonna get on with it because I still have so much work to do. But you know what, that's fine. We got this, right? Enjoy your day, guys, and I will see you soon, yeah? Bye. <laughs>